Hi guys. Gosh, I feel like I haven't been on here for forever. I've been busy working on some journals and some stuff for some friends, but I have one for the shop today. And it is fun. It's the first time that I've done one of these big, tall, skinny. This one is 15 inches tall and six inches wide. And I found this old ledger day book and the cover was, is just in pristine condition. So I gutted it and I reinforced the spine and I made a junk journal. So let's get to it. Um, before I forget, there is just under 200 pages. I think they're 190, I think, my last count. And, all right, make sure I'm in the frame there. So when we go to the inside cover, I gotta tell you guys the first thing is, you see this tape and tape here? My buddy Rosemary Morris, she has a YouTube channel and and it's just her name, Rosemary Morris. And in one of her videos, and I'll try to remember to link it down below, she taught us how to make this vintage looking tape. So you're gonna see it everywhere in this journal because I finally got the things to make it and I just went crazy. So um, the inside cover is some of Nick's paper that I have printed out. So it matched perfectly. So I used that. And then there's some piano roll and some more of that paper and some lace and some bits on this pocket. And there is a big tag, an embossed tag, and a little Timmy picture reel. This is some paper that Rosemary sent me too. I need to get to her shop. Um, her Etsy shop is, is it the, the Rusty Peacock or Rusty Peacock? Anyway, she does beautiful paper. And then, so this, all the corners of the pages are rounded so that they match the corners on the ledger. So this was two regular size pieces of paper. Um, and I just thought, well, I'm gonna put a piece of that tape on there. That looked really cool. So this is just full of all kinds of tea stain paper and ledger paper and vintage stuff. This little skeleton clip here I took some old file folders and some book pages and I just made a little like card with tea stain paper on the inside. So that's clipped on here. This is some 11 by 17 paper that I tea stained. That's a fun job. So this is out of, Tim Holtz did a um, like leather ledger type deal and I bought one just to have the paper. And there's, I think there's three pieces of this in this journal. And um, full disclosure, uh, this one is upside down. So, <laughs> hey, what are you gonna do? You know? And there's a, a little quote there and some sewing up here. So this was a little bit of a challenge, um, you know, because of the size and not having a bunch of papers that size. So, I, I but I had fun with it. It was a lot of fun. Here's a vintage postcard. And this is just a piece of the green painter's masking paper clipped on there with a couple of Timmy people. Here's some vintage ledger with, with a, a tag and a library card tucked in. Some more Rosemary's Gringy paper. The other side of that one. This is a Saddler's Geography page. <clears throat> There's some gorgeous mulberry paper. A piece of it's fun to be able to use the large ledger sheets and not have to cut them up. And then on these spots, um, I was going to show you guys an example and I forgot, but like here, you could take some washi tape and another piece of paper or an envelope and just tack it on there, you know, as a, as a flip or to extend the page. So that's something fun that you can do with those. Here's another one of those pages right side up. Here's another piano roll pocket, and I just tucked in a piece of grungy paper and a little Timmy card. The other side of that ledger and the mulberry. See, here's a whole bunch more tape. This page was brittle on the edges, so I just taped it up with some of that fun tape. Looks so cool, right? 
And then this songbook cover was also really brittle on the spine, so I just put a bunch of that tape on there, and I, oh, I, I love it. Here's an old, some kind of an old accounting page. I'm not sure what this was from. It says interest, interest paid, and received by. There's a piece of scrapbook paper with a quote in a pocket with one of these fun envelopes in there. <clears throat> and a book page. And there's some sewing up here with one of the little post office cards from the old design shop. And you can find the links um, for the old design shop in the description box below. Um, there's a She has a blog site that has free images and then her Etsy store and her Etsy shop, has everything's 50% off, so be sure and check that out. There's another um, ledger sheet with some lace, goodies in the pocket there. Here's the back of that book and the back of the Saddler's Geography page. I printed on some acetate and then there's this is um, an old coin roll so I just made a little flip out of that and this is some of the painters masking paper again something I could get the full size so that was fun some old ledger this is a typing book and this was teaching you how to type out an envelope I thought that was fun some more sewing there here's another piano roll pocket and there is a sheet of labels and this is money and I couldn't tell you where it's from because I have no idea what language it is but 1909 and that's the real deal not a copy and here is a little envelope tuck with a index card and then there's a tuck here just a little bit of collaging on there other side of that saddler's page there's a, a little strip of that mulberry paper behind this rose that I printed out that rose image is also from the old design shop and I've sewn it on there and here's a little um, wallpaper pocket with the Tim Holtz card and another one of the post office oops, post office cards and get it back in there and this is a little book binders label and some music and ledger this is a railroad book that I have. There's another one of those envelopes that I just did a little decoupaging on. And some more tape. And a book page. And some more mulberry. And this is just the front of a card that I took off and I sewed around the edge and I just clipped that on. That would be fun to make a pocket or write a note on. Took an old file folder and gave it a new tab. And there's a little gypsy bell and key hanging off and then there's some little a little bit of the mulberry paper and a little envelope and one of these little fun clips and uh, one of the milk caps and I think Julie sent me that and there's another one of those cards and then there's two pieces tea stained paper inside there here's a tiny ledger that I have and, and a little dragonfly clip on there and some more blank ledger, which is gorgeous. Some embossed paper sewn on this side. Another vintage book sheet. Another one of those ledger pages. Some number codes. I really had fun making this. It was a challenge, but it was a good challenge. And this, this will be in the shop today also. And there's a vintage check printed out on some parchment paper that I just clipped on there because it was giant. I thought that was fun. Some more tape. The other side of that ledger. Two tea stain pages. Here's another um, printout on some acetate that I just paper clipped on there. And then down at the bottom, these are tiny little ledger sticky notes, so I put a good bit of those in there. And it says Voyage on the tab. And on the back is just a little date and tape and some bits and then I just left the back plain if you wanted to make a pocket to put on there but I put a book plate and there it is I hope you guys love it um I I love it I'm kind of over the moon and I'm gonna show you 
Um, I'm going to have another video today of a baby journal that I made for a friend. So I will try and get that one up today. And then I'm just going to show a quick sneak peek. There will be a video later. Um, but I'm doing a journal swap with Julie from the old design shop. And she's seen the cover. She hasn't seen the inside of the journal. And so we're not showing each other. We're putting them in the mail. And it'll be a surprise. But I'm just going to give you guys a sneak peek of this cover. And by sneak, I mean it's going to be quick. So cool, right? So as soon as uh, I'll make a video, and as soon as she receives it, then I will put the video up. So it'll probably be about 10, 12 days. Um, it's going to go in the mail in the morning. So anyway, I will be back this week with some other things. Um, I've got a few new goodies for the shop that aren't journals, some ephemera and junk journal supplies. So I'm going to try and get those up in the next week before I leave for my trip. And I hope everybody has a great day. And I will see you in the next video. Bye, guys.